Oh, hey there. I'm very, very sad right now. You know why? Because this freaking thing does not work, you guys. <laughs> they gave us these three different cards to use. They said, if this one doesn't work, use that one. If this one doesn't work, use that one. None of them freaking work. Our credit cards don't work. Over here, it says that you can use this app called EVWay. I download the app. I have all kinds of trouble registering it. Then I finally add my payment information. It gives me an error message every time I try to start the pump. This thing will not give us juice, no matter what we do. Can you tell I'm frustrated? <laughs> Our trip started so positive. We were like, yeah, electric vehicles. Now, electric vehicles screwing us at every turn. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to hop in the car and try to find another charging station, I don't know. I'm so sad, I wanted to eat at Eataly. Yeah, they have an Eataly right over here, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever, I'm over it. Well, good morning, adventurers. Well, hello there. Our electric camper van road trip continues. And this is the lowest that this thing has gotten so far. We got to about a quarter tank. Uh -huh. I don't know why I'm saying tank, it's battery. Quarter, quarter battery. battery. <laughs> but the good news is, I think we're getting the hang of this electric charging, you guys. We've been scouting out the stations ahead of time. We make sure to get this, which is the quick charger. The supercharger. There's actually two other types of chargers here. And sometimes this one that we need isn't the one that they have. It'll still work. It'll just take a lot longer. Some of them actually won't work. Like this one here. This one doesn't fit, no matter what. We can't make this one fit. This is the first time we've used this Ionity one, though there's all kinds of different brands and we have a card specifically for this one. So this one's gonna work. Fingers all is gonna be well. crossed it works, because we have other cards that are supposed to be working everywhere we go and they have not been working everywhere we go. Yeah. But this is actually gonna be our final video that we're posting from our trip here in Italy. We've had tons of epic adventures in our electric camper van, but as we mentioned at the start of the trip, those are gonna be posted over at DW Travel. So make sure you head over there and subscribe so you can watch the entire entire camper van road trip. We're gonna get all charged up and then we're heading further east into Italy and we'll share with y'all later what our plans are for this mm. video. It's gonna be fun, I know that. It takes a little while. <laughs> but check out the sandwich I got. You never get sandwiches like this at the gas stations in the States, but most of them here have this case with all these amazing custom-made sandwiches, awesome bread, it makes waiting an hour to charge not so bad. <laughs> oh, and they have this like bulgur veggie salad, which for sure you would not find in the States. I guess that's all. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. We made it to our mountain chalet. Oh my word. We got in a little bit late last night, well after dark. Um, so we decided to just chill, watch a movie, eat way too much pizza. It was incredible. It was just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was so much fun. Bright and early at 7.30, we heard a little knock on our door. They brought us the cutest little picnic basket I've ever seen. And look at the spread that was inside of here, you guys. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. They say, oh, it's just a typical breakfast of the region, y'all. The U.S. is doing it all wrong. We would never, we would get like boxed cereal yeah. and stuff like that. It would be so sad. So we got a bunch of awesome meats here. They got some fruit, some cheeses, of course, some more fruit over here. <laughs> heaps and heaps of bread. <laughs> Y'all, is this a normal amount for two people? I don't know. That, <laughs> We're going to make it a normal amount. Maybe like over the course of the day, we would get through this. But for breakfast, this is aggressive. They even put little tomatoes and peppers on here. I know. Oh, it's so cute. And of course, they brought us fresh milk in a little jar so we can make our little cappuccinos Not at home. Not at all. But as you all might notice behind us, we have epic mountain views in every direction. We're in a little secluded area where cars aren't allowed, so you don't hear any of that noise. Up above, you have this retractable curtain that reveals the sky. So we just woke up to this beautiful fog, and you can see it's kind of the sun's peeking through over the hills back there. Yeah, there are supposed to be thunderstorms coming this afternoon but it's nice and sunny this morning. I'm actually kind of excited for storms in this room. Yeah, oh, it's we gonna be awesome. So we're gonna dig into all this, try to eat as much bread as humanly possible. <laughs> and then we have some epically beautiful nature in the area. That's the main reason we stopped through here that we are going to hit up before we leave. Ah, it's gonna be such a good last day. I'm so excited. It's 
it's you. Come on in. <laughs> I guess we should give you guys a proper look around our amazing Skyview Chalet. Follow me into the living quarters. Did you guys expect to see so much raw wood on the inside? This is crazy. <laughs> wood for days, y'all. Luckily for us, we love wood. The campsite that we're in is called Toblacher Sea, and they allow all sorts of caravan camping, tent camping, but they also have these Skyview chalets that they built recently, which are these amazing villas. They have at least 10 of these places, and it's in its own secluded area that you have to have a private key card to access. No cars drive through here, so it feels very secluded mountain and forest views all around. This campsite is also on its own lake that is incredibly beautiful. So starting at this end of the house, you have this amazing living space, epically comfortable. We watched movies in here last night, like we said, and binged on pizza. It was awesome. <laughs> I mean, huge TV. they have this amazing TV. Check this out. Ooh, how far out does it go? That far. <laughs> <laughs> then you have this awesome uh, workstation kind of bar area. Man, I love the high quality build of this place. If you'll notice, when you look around, you don't really see much trim hardly at all. And that's because they made all their cuts absolutely perfect. So the wood butts right up to the next piece and makes like this perfect seam all around the edges. Everything is just made out of raw, unfinished wood. It's so heavy and so sturdy. And I think all this stuff is custom built. That's how they got the whole vibe of everything to match. Yes, yeah, so everything is made out of wood, even all of their cabinets and everything. So what's behind wooden door number one? <laughs> the kitchen! Check this out. So it's, it's small, you can only microwave stuff. They don't have a stove or anything, but they have one very important thing, a mini bar that is daily restocked. And they have the cutest little espresso machine, which makes amazing little espressos in the morning. It just looks like you're standing in front of the biggest wall of wood right now. I know. I, don't, I keep <laughs> wanting to know what's up in those. Is it more storage? Who can know? Leaving the living room kitchen area, you go back towards the bedroom. But on the way, there is not one, but two toilets, y'all. Or I guess one is a toilet room and one's a real bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. But it, it comes in very handy if two people have to use the restroom. Look at this amazing master bath. So again, just wood everywhere and it's so beautiful and the craftsmanship is just so perfect. They got all of these seams so nice. It's yeah, making us a little jealous. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shows what? us how much we have to learn. I know, but they just butted everything up so beautifully. But again, plenty of space. They've kind of thought of everything. Everything's very clean and minimal. Even the toilet is classy. You gotta show them this friggin' shower. Welcome to the shower. So this might just look like a weird dark hole at the moment, but it's actually a party shower. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. I don't know why they decided to put like a rave style shower in here, but I don't hate it. You can also change the color. Yeah. How cool is that? So it can correspond with your mood. Ooh, actually, check that out. Oh, yeah, now it's a dance party in here. And follow me to the coolest room in the chalet. This master bedroom is so incredible. I know you saw it this morning when we were eating breakfast, but I mean, it's just windows and you can open all of these blinds to have these amazing mountain views and epic forest views. And you can actually see all the other chalets, which is kind of neat because they have these uh, living roofs. They do. They're so pretty out there. Although every once in a while somebody walks by and they can very much see in here. Yeah. That's okay. Oh man, you can see right to the lake down oh, there. How cool is that? It's so nice. Yeah, not bad at all. And you're wondering why it's called the Skyview Chalet. Check this out. Whoa! It takes a little while. And now, when you lay here, you see nothing but stars up there. Or right now, some little bugs. And some gray clouds. It's gray clouds. <laughs> but there were stars last night. Last baby. night, we saw the moon and stars, and it was so pretty. There's actually one more amazing feature to this bathroom behind this glass wall right here. But we're not quite appropriately dressed for it. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, much better. That's right, there's a two-person sauna in our bathroom. There is. Something I'm always oh, getting rid of. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you can also change the light color in here. You know, the sauna also talks to you in English, Italian, German, or French. It tells you what to think and do and how to relax, and then it plays soothing music. 
Light and color harmonize body and soul. Color the light to positively influence your mood. All right, it is actually way too hot in here though for right now. <laughs> oh Lord. It is a beautiful day out here. Check this out. It is fantastic. Yeah. It has cooled off a bit here. It feels so good. It's like I fall it starting. So the plan now is to get out into some of this awesome nature in this area. Mainly, which way are you going? Mainly there's a, this incredible lake that I've been dying to see. It's called Pragser Wild Sea. That's exactly how you probably pronounce I it. I think so. But it should be one of the more beautiful lakes we've ever been to. I think it's gonna blow you all away. It's gonna blow us away, hopefully. I'm excited. It it has some definite BAM vibes. When we were there last time, it's that pretty blue. So yeah. it's sunny right now. I'm hoping it'll stay that way and we'll get a lovely day on the lake. Time to hop in our electric space tour. <laughs> and Space tour? It's called a space tour. Oh, is it? Space tourer. <laughs> Did I didn't you know even that? realize. Okay, anyway, no. let's hit the road. Taller, Stratus, Stratale, 49 Pusteria. That was a mouthful. <laughs> My advice to you all get here early because parking is pretty freaking wild. And maybe don't come on a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> but cost us 10 euro to park, and I think we got one of the very last spots. We made it to the lake. It's absolutely stunning, just like we thought, and it's so serene. I feel like we have the whole thing to ourselves, y'all. Just kidding. Everyone in the entire world is here. <laughs> so, according to the internet, they said you could rent these awesome little boats, and we thought, you know, it'd be like this. A little family out there. It turns out everyone is doing it. The line is like all the way backed up to the hotel. I'm not sure what we were expecting. It's kind of late in the season, so I figured there'd be a few less people, but uh, yeah. yeah, come early if you come here. <laughs> but I think we're still gonna, I mean, the place I mean, is it's incredible. Still, it's still amazing. Yeah. You can still get great views. You can hike around or walk around the entire uh, lake. I'm just blown away by the amount of people. It's like almost October, it's after the, the high season, so I can't even imagine what this is like in the summertime. We're gonna mosey around, taking the views, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm and trying then, to remind Eric of that. He's very bitter and salty about no, this I'm situation. Not. But <laughs> but then after that, we're just gonna eat some food. Yeah. That'll make me feel better. Yeah. Sorry, sadly, no boat today. But that's okay. We've taken boats out before. No big deal. So we decided to bail on that other lake <laughs> because we didn't really realize how awesome the lake is here at our campsite. This, this is it. This is what our campsite is built around. Yeah. Is this magical incredible? thing. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty friggin' sweet. It's nestled in between this epic mountain view. The water is crystal clear and very, very still. Most importantly, far, far less people. Hardly anyone is out right now. We're gonna link to both lakes in the description below, but our personal recommendation is to just camp here, stay here, enjoy this lake. <laughs> it's essentially the exact same thing, just shrunken down. Yeah. And it still has a walking trail completely around it, which I think we are gonna go explore. Supposedly, there are some little streams or rivers that pour into this that are supposed to be a beautiful blue. We're gonna go find those. We're gonna be little explorers. We also might grab a beer or some Prosecco for the journey. All right, boozy walk. Yes. <laughs> I think I might have found the most tremendous wood pile ever crafted by man. <laughs> Look at this thing. I just gotta keep backing up. I just got this horrible vision of this toppling over right on me. No, you'll be fine. Oh my God. I really wanna climb it too. Probably shouldn't, right? Yeah, now that might make it topple over okay. on you. Bet you guys didn't know that we'd been here before. Aww. I wonder what their names are. Probably also Eric and Allison, right? Well, they did all the hard work for us. That was so nice of them. We were just about to do it, but it's already done and a lot better than we ever would. This is just a little spot where I guess everyone's made little pictures in the rocks, put their initials and stuff. That is so adorable.
She's officially blown away, you guys. I love it, I love it so much. Check this out. Is that a beautiful stream or what? <laughs> I mean, they don't get much more beautiful than that. Look at that color. <laughs> oh, <holy. laughs> That's straight from a really cold mountain. <laughs> That's right. There's a freaking hot tub. Did we mention that already? I don't think so. Well, there is one. <laughs> but that is the difference between the regular Skyview Chalet and the deluxe Skyview Chalet. Also known as the more expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> a little more expensive, but totally worth it because this is amazing. Not bad at all. A funny thing about this hot tub, I don't know if this is just common throughout Italy, but this machine can't seem to go over 37 degrees Celsius, which to me is way too cold. <laughs> it's about 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which is body yeah. temperature. So it feels warm, but mostly lukewarm, not yeah. necessarily hot. This is our last day in Italy, y'all. It, it has come to a close. It came and went so quickly. Like I mentioned when we first started this trip, I was not super enthusiastic about traveling internationally just because we were so exhausted from doing the RV renovation, yeah. the second RV renovation right before all this. But y'all, it has been so much fun. It's been delicious. It's been beautiful. It's been kind of crazy being in that electric camper van. Yeah, that was a whole different twist on the trip. Yeah. <laughs> we're still trying to decide how invested we are in electric vehicles. We're kind of lukewarm right yeah. now, but we'll some see. Some days we'll see. we love it and some days we're like, it's too much work. But yeah. We'll definitely have to give it a go in the U.S. to see if we can find charging stations maybe more easily. I don't know. But y'all, I have some good news. I just got a text that our RV engine issues have been solved. We had a mechanic <laughs> come to the garage. He sorted it out. They say it's 100%. I'm not holding them to that because <laughs> knowing our luck, it will not be 100%. But we have a running RV to go back to. We have a few more little touch-ups to do on the inside. But other than that, it's done. Everything works. We're ready to take our first trip pretty I soon. I know. So we can go from a road trip in Europe to back home, a little work for a couple weeks, and then road tripping indefinitely in the States. Yeah. In our Clementine. Well, I guess tomorrow we make the long, long journey back to the States. We drive from here to Munich, fly to Washington, D.C., and then to Denver. It's gonna be a hoot. We are gonna film it all. Hopefully it goes well. Who knows, though? We got jets, y'all. <laughs> I guess that means this night is over. <laughs> Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. Oh, are we fading? Yeah.